Hello, Motivation Challengers. It is Sunday and we are finishing up our week of the letter J. And I did make a few notes this morning. The biggest one I want to share is the biggest spider I think I've ever seen. We uh, were cleaning out the shed to the teen center because we're getting ready to do a kind of donation garage sale in the next couple weeks. And so we got in there to get a few things out to put out for the sale. And there was, there was spiders this big and of course we didn't have any spider spray so we have like wasp killer and ant killer we're, we're trying to spray this thing and it is not going down so it finally came out onto like a foundation outside of the shed so i squished it i finally got brave enough to go and just squish it so i don't know how many were in there one of the other volunteers ran up and got some bombs so they bombed the shed so i don't know what they've found since because i haven't been back but yeah a jumbo spider <laughs> so and you know and you don't know if they're poisonous or not. I don't know, but we have an Oregon that we need to be worried about. I just know it was big and I didn't want it on me. <laughs> and then um, just trying to play with the the J's today, I came up with Joyride. And why do I have Joyride? Well, we have these brand new recliners. We have been in this house for 14 and a half years. And so we bought new furniture to go in this home. And we bought furniture that would be available for a family of four. So we had a couch with two end recliners and then my husband and I each had a recliner. Well, they're 14 and a half years old and they've been lived on. And so we we desperately needed to replace them. So we went and ordered new ones. I want to say it was the end of May and we were told at least 75 days out because of the pandemic and just manufacturing businesses aren't just producing very quickly. So my in-laws are, aren't able to get any furniture they ordered until December. So it's just, it's just the times, right? Well, the chairs came early. So we have the recliners and they, I'm almost embarrassed, but they're just a bit much, but they are like medical recliners. So they have remote controls that lift up and down and it can position your head or your legs. So anyway, they're, they're, bit above and beyond. So anybody that comes over, we're giving them, I want to call it a joy ride on the recliner because you just have to experience this thing. So they're nice. Um, the only thing is, is they don't rock and we have grandbaby coming. So I'm a bit disappointed in that, but at least with the electronic remote, it will shift and adjust quietly. So baby sleeping, it will wake him up. So anyway, I just, I'm kind of like, they're just a, a bit much. So I'm, I'm kind of this side of, I'm kind of like, did we really need all that? But anyway, so moving on. So yeah, joy ride on our new recliners if you come over. <laughs> and then uh, today, which is Sunday the 11th, is one of our neighborhood boys' birthday and his name starts with the letter J. So they are actually on a trip. So I was able to make up some brownies and take it over to them before they left. So that was a good gesture because they are a really close-knit family and they do a lot for us on special things. During the pandemic, we seem to always get together for the holiday meals. So like we started with Valentine's Day and then we did St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah, so um, anyway, just return the favor because they're always so generous to us. And then um, just great. So that's that's the phrase I have to say. My CPAP machine has been recalled. So if you have a Philips brand CPAP machine that was made before, I believe, 2021, you might check the serial number on it against uh, Philips website. They have a whole warning out there. The foam that is in the noise reduction section of the CPAP, apparently the foam can cause cancer. So I've been doing so well with mine for like a year and a half. And so now I'm going without it. So I don't know if I'm snoring. I know I'm still recognizing that I'm dreaming and I'm not getting up in the middle of the night. So I'm not sure how long that will last because I was doing really well. So just kind of hoping that that gets resolved real soon and they come out with a fix, a replacement, just whatever they're going to do on that. But that was an expensive machine. So for all of us to have to replace those, yeah. So anyway, so just be, you know, thinking over that for me because that's a bit disappointing. And what I want to leave you with today was um, one of my YouTube channels that I follow on Sunday mornings. They do a little devotional and this isn't a J, but it just really applies to where I am right now with, you know, transitioning through a different season of, you know, 
going through the home and, and doing things, getting through the garage. No, it's not done, but it's far better than where it was. So it's getting there. It's, it's a slow process. It's a lot of years of accumulation and I still have to get through my teaching things, but I'm just kind of staying out of my husband's way and letting him get in there and get it to how he needs it because I have a craft room and then I have a spare room. So I have my spaces that needs to be his space. He's looking to make it kind of their mechanic garage so that when the boys or anybody needs to come over and work on their cars, we can go into the garage and do it. So I really like the idea. I do have a huge amount of teaching things in the way. I realize this, but until he's done, I, I, I just want to be out of the way. So I will get to mine. I've been working on things slowly in the house, but where I'm going with is Luke 12, 34. For where your treasures lie, so will your heart be. And so I just, I just want to encourage you that you are, you know, focusing on what is it that you treasure in your life? What is it that you get up in the morning and your first thought? What is your last thought of the day? And be mindful of that. Be intentional about what it is that your thoughts are going to. And that will just show with you what's, what's, you know, really what's important to you. Who's the first person that you contact? Who's the last person that you contact? So I just take that as a reminder that I need to be mindful of what I am storing up because we can't take these things with us, right? And there's also um, the Swedish death cleaning. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm, I might not be saying that correctly, but the Swedish ways are that they really are intentional in not cluttering and storing up things because they do worry more over what they're going to leave for their loved ones to go through. So I thought that was another eye opener that if something happened to me, this is a lot of stuff for anyone to go through. It's a lot for me to be going through right now. So just another thing too, what are you storing up? Are you storing up the things that you can be intentional about that you can really make use of? Are you hanging on to them because of sentimental reasons? Are you emotionally attached in a negative or a positive way? So I'm not here to, you know, tell you that I am an expert in any of this. I'm coming to you as what's been helping me to do better about going through things and making the decision of what truly needs to stay and what needs to go. So our young, oldest boy was here this week. Oldest son, oldest man. He's not a boy. <laughs> He's married and has children. A baby on the way, right? Um, anyway, I was able to pass on some things to him and there's been always that I need to feel like I was in control of things, worried over what would happen to the things that I've saved for years for them, but they're not my things to store up and treasure and control. It's theirs. I saved them for them. So it's that learning that release that it's okay to give it to them. And what they choose to do with it beyond my household is up to them. Really it is because I saved it for them, right? I thought it would be important to them. So now they need to make the decision. So don't store up treasures that I would put in that category for them, but give it to them and release it to them and let them make that decision. So it's been a hard mom, you know, letting go process, but I have to be intentional for what helps us to live in this household. So I hope you can take some of my, you know, non-professional advice or ideas and make use of it and help you to just kind of clear out some of that clutter in your home, as well as clear out the clutter that's in your head, the things that just help you to not be able to sleep at night and clear your mind and be able to go to sleep and stay asleep. So, so far I've been able to do that. So anyway, I hope you have a great K week, um, a week of kindness, a week of just keeping on task, a week of keeping your journal up and uh, keeping in mind that you are important, you are enough, you are loved, and you are your own superpower. So I, or hero is what I want to say. So with that, I will leave you to your letter K week. It's been good to talk with you guys. Take care and I'll see you hopefully next Sunday. Bye-bye.